surgical or anesthetic factors are related with the nausea and vomiting post discharge? So there are a number of uh, different factors. So you can consider three aspects. One is what we call patient factor, uh, anesthesia factor, and the surgical factors. So for the patient factor, for example, being female, one has three times the risk of nausea and vomiting compared to men. Um, interestingly, people who smoke actually protect against nausea and vomiting. Not that I would advise my patient to smoke before surgery, but smokers tend to have a lower risk. And also, the very young and the very old tend to have a lower incidence. The peak incidence is about 20 to 30 years old. Surgical factors. Certain surgery seems to have a higher risk for developing nausea and vomiting. So for example, women undergoing breast surgery have a very high incidence. Uh, there is a surgical approach, what they call laparoscopic surgery, is also associated with a very high incidence. Children undergoing like tonsil, tonsillectomy, and also uh, ear surgery, also have a very high incidence of nausea and vomiting. How successful are today the, the, the most use, useful combinations of the drugs that you have? It depends on the type of drugs you use, depending on the number of drugs you use. So basically, the more drugs, let's say if you do two or three drugs, it's better than using one drug. And if you use drug that is longer acting, so it provides a longer period of protection, that also be better than using a drug that is shorter acting.